Okay, so right now I decided to pull, put some of the um, the bulbs that have already dried out um, away. So I'm gonna put this in a paper bag like this. Put it in, and then I'm gonna label the outside with the name and the date. And then I'm gonna put the bag in the box. And then I'm gonna store this box indoor somewhere um, cool um, with not too much uh, temperature fluctuation um, so it's not gonna dry out or um, be subject to too much of a um, temperature stress so yeah this is what I'm gonna do I'll sh get back to you in a bit so I've written the name of the bulb and then I put the bulb in the bag I'm gonna fold this up and then just put it in the bag like that and then I'm, there's going to be a bunch more. Hopefully I can fit all of them in, in the boxes. I only have two boxes. And for the bigger bulbs, like the tulip, I would have to figure something out um, how to store them. I don't really want to take them out because it's a lot of work. And I think it's um, better for them um, to just kind of propagate in the soil and not disturb them. Like the little bulbs. If you dig the little bulbs up, they tend to dry out and don't survive through the next um, spring um, so uh, I'll have to figure something out and for example here we have the um, the double snowdrop um, and um, to check whether they're ready for storage I kind of just break apart the top soil and then kind of pour it out and then check the dryness or the wetness of the soil for this one it's pretty dry so it's ready for storage and then after that I just kind of put put back the soil and then put it in a paper bag and do the same thing as the last one I did and as you can see the the bulb um, snowdrop bulb has actually gotten a lot bigger um, um, I remember many months ago when I planted it it's about um, it's way smaller than this but now it's like bigger um, I mean, of course, it's growing, so that's a good sign, and hopefully we can get um, some baby bulbs, bulbs from these um, soon, next year, probably. And here we have another um, snowdrop. For this one, I believe this is also the double snowdrop, and this is a good example. As you can see, this, um, this it's originally one bulb, now it has separated into three bulbs, so now we have two additional plants. Um, yeah, because I remember planting uh, three bulbs in this one, and then three bulbs in that one. So apparently there we have more plants here now. Um, yeah, and that's exactly what I wanted. So I'm going to put this back, and then store, store it in the bag. Yeah, and as the one, for example this one, the pot is a little too big to fit into the bag. Um, what I did was I pour everything out, and I'm going to just fit this... Um, this in the bags, uh, including the soil and the bulbs, everything in one bag, which I think it's actually a good idea for the bigger bulbs like those one over there. I could just store the bulbs with the original soil all together in the paper bags, which would save a lot of space and also I wouldn't really disturb the baby bulbs. And then I also went through the saffron crocus. Um, apparently the um, the bottom um, soil of, of the pot isn't completely dried yet, so I would have to break apart the all the soil. And then I'm just going to lay out like this for it to dry out completely. Then I can store these bulbs. The saffron crocus, as you can see, it has divided too. This is one of the bulb. This is another bulb. But yeah, we have a lot of um, saffron crocus bulb in this one. I'm gonna let this dry and then store it in a paper bag. And then for this one, I believe, oh yeah, it's a snowdrop. Same thing, it's not dried. So I'm gonna put this out like this, let it dry, and then store them. I clean out the crocus. Um, all the leaves are gone. And you can see a lot of, of bulbs around. Some of them are pretty shallow, so you can kind of see them above the soil. Like this one over here too. The grape hyacinth, um, still a lot of leaves, 
but um, at places you can see some of the huge bulbs. Let me try to find one for you. Right here. Right here. It's huge. Do you see that? This is a huge uh, grape hyacinth wolf. There's another one. So yeah, we have a lot of them. And then I also cleaned out the um, tulip. Tulip, um, still pretty wet, so it's going to take a while. But um, I, the, um, the bulbs are pretty healthy, as you can see. They're right here, and then they're dividing. So this is one bulb, and then there's another bulb. So it's a good sign. They're dividing, which means they're happy and healthy. So I'm going to let this dry too. And then eventually gonna store them in a paper box and then put them in a bag indoor. I mean in the box, yeah, in the box indoor.